Steam is the most popular game launcher probably in the world, but especially on PCs. And today we're going to show you how to install it. I don't see any reason to mess around, so let's go ahead and jump into it. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below, and that will take you here. This is the official Steam website with the official Steam download right here. So we can go ahead and click on Install Steam, and it downloads automatically in the bottom left for us. Now we can minimize our browser, and it's actually going to be most likely located in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this is fully working on Windows 11. Go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Open it up, and you will see the Steam setup.exe right there. Now you can open this from here, but I just like dragging things to my desktop for these tutorials. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and double click on the Steam setup.exe, and from here we just kind of go through the normal Steam setup process. We click next, we select our language, we click next and we click next again if that's where we want to install Steam. Well, we click install, I should say. Truthfully, there's really no reason you need to change where Steam's installed. It should be okay by default. So let's go ahead, click install. Now it's gonna go through, install Steam, and boom, you're done. Go ahead and click finish, and Steam will open up. When Steam opens up, you'll need to log in. Now you may have to create an account if you don't have one already, but if you do have one already, you can just log right on in. Should you have to create an account, it's super easy. Millions of people play Steam. There was 27 million people playing it while we were uh, downloading it. Absolutely crazy. Like, look at that. 27 million people online, 7 million people playing Steam. Insanity. But nevertheless, Steam is now opening up in the background, and there it is. Now, you will need to log in to Steam here using this, and you can sign in with your account name or your password or use the QR code. I'm going to go ahead and sign in here, and if you don't have an account, you can go ahead and create a free account in the bottom right. That'll take you back into this where you can create your account and get going. But nonetheless, I'm gonna log in, I'll meet you in Steam, and this tutorial is basically done. Once you've logged into Steam, it will look like this. This is kind of like the uh, Steam Friend Manager. You can close out of that if you want and still access Steam. You've got your library on the left. You've got the store here where you can go through, purchase games, all of that, and basically that's Steam. If you wanna know more about some Steam features that most people don't know about, be sure to check out the video on your screen right now, which will show you exactly that. It goes over some really cool Steam features that most people don't know, and you should check out and use, especially if you're new to Steam, you get ahead of people right away. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.